Jesus continued to grow and to become strong, increasing in wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Luke chapter 2, verse 40. In a year that gave us all kinds of reasons not to grow, particularly spiritually, we celebrate that we had 36 scouts that signed up for and completed religious studies for their respective age groups. Scouting recognizes duty to God as an essential part of the scout oath and being reverent as part of the scout law. Scouting offers opportunities to live out their duty to God through a series of ecumenical programs focusing on different aspects of a scout's faith. Each program is several weeks long, includes both group work and individual study, includes service projects, and concludes with pastor interviews. This year we had 16 Cub Scouts in the second and third grade complete the requirements for the God and Me program where they were reminded that they can be best friends with Jesus. We had 11 Cub Scouts in the 4th through 6th grade complete the requirements for the God and Family program, where they experienced the joy and blessings of family as they grew in God's love. We had 5 Scouts in the 6th through 8th grades complete the requirements for the God and Church program, where they experienced the important role community plays in their faith journey. Lastly, we had four Scouts in the 9th through 12th grades complete the requirements for the God in Life program, where they explored God's call on their lives through the experiences of the Apostle Paul as recorded in Acts. Those 36 Scouts have followed Jesus' example of growing, becoming stronger, and increasing in wisdom. Through this, they realized God's blessings in abundant life of joy, peace, and love. The past 12 months have been anything but normal. However, scouting opportunities at Fuqua Verena United Methodist Church have continued their focus on character, leadership, and spiritual development in our young people. Leaders have been creative in offering ways to keep our young people engaged in scouting throughout the challenges of the global pandemic. Cookies were still sold. Educational trips were planned and carried out. Opportunities for civil service and understanding were offered just not maybe in exactly the same way as in past years. This past year, PAC 320 showed us all what it truly means to be a scout, and we are all so proud of each and every one of them. A scout is brave. Our Cub Scouts faced a lot of unknowns this past year and met them all head on and exceeded all expectations. A scout is loyal. When meetings in person were nowhere in sight, they showed up virtually and completed their achievements with their families at home and participated in backyard campouts. A scout is helpful. A scout is kind. Collecting items needed for the local food pantries and sending care packages to military personnel overseas. A scout is cheerful. When in-person meetings returned, they looked very different, but each week our scouts showed up with a great attitude, ready to continue working towards their goals. A scout is reverent. Bears and Weeblows rank completed their God and me and God and family requirements, some doing the entire program virtually. We are so thankful to have a charter organization that have given us a place to grow, learn, and share, a place our PAC family can call home. The Scout Oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. While our community embraced a new set of norms and unknowns, our Scouts embraced the Scout Oath. After last March, our troops stayed mentally awake with virtual backyard campouts, merit badges, and troop meetings. As time progressed, we began camping in safe, well-prepared, and youth-led campouts. Our scouts also remained committed to keeping themselves physically strong and healthy through high adventure outings, including a trip to Northern Tier High Adventure Base Camp on the Canadian border of Minnesota. The scouts were resilient in adapting to challenges and impacts of a global pandemic while still achieving and living out the scout oath. As a ministry of the church, our scouts stayed morally straight as the troop continued to give back with community service, such as delivering meals through Main Street Kitchen, helping elderly in our area, grounds projects, assisting with food drives, 
and many other opportunities for service in our community. Our scouting programs continue to grow and thrive as a part of this faith community as our scouts continue to grow and develop their character, their faith, and their leadership with strong support from our church. We look forward to a productive and healthy year. Please reach out if you have any interest in being a part of scouting here at Fabundi. And thank you again for all of your support.